everyone so today I am doing my full face of Etsy makeup and you can see right now I'm looking so super glam hopefully by the end of this video I actually will look presentable <laughs> I'm doing something kind of bold I guess because the eyeshadow palette I have bought oh my god uh, off Etsy is this one right here which contains a whole lot of like blues and cool tones and stuff but we'll just like play around with the makeup I got and take it from there. So all of this stuff I bought myself I basically just went onto Etsy which if you didn't know Etsy is kind of like the house of handmade crafty kind of goods like there's all sorts of stuff there's like art clothing beauty furniture like all sorts of different stuff um so yeah I went on the beauty section heaps of this is handmade I believe at least it looks it so we're going to play around with it I'm going to let you know what works for me what doesn't work for me I'm excited because a lot of it's kind of like mineral makeup and stuff like that which I don't normally go for and obviously these are all very small brands I've never heard of any of them um so if you like to purchase from like smaller brands indie brands stuff like that like Etsy is a really good option for you. So I'm going to dive it straight in. First off, I need to get rid of the pimple stuff. I decided to pick up my face and then I actually ended up getting pimples because of it when before my skin was fine. I was like, oh, is there something here? Squeeze it. No. Nope. Now there is though. Well done. Okay, we are clean. So first off, I have a primer here. This is called the Apollo Pineapple Prep and Prime sample some stuff i just got sample sizes because i was like eh, if i really like it i can go back and purchase like the full size so this is what it looks like and it's by the brand palo so that one right there it looks like a gel formula which i'm loving gel formulas lately for like moisturizers and stuff so hopefully this works well for me and hopefully it works well with the foundation I've chosen which by the way the foundation I've chosen does not look like <laughs> the right color whatsoever oh my gosh it kind of feels just like aloe vera or something like that kind of texture like thick and moisturizing but also kind of gel like and it feels very refreshing so I'm just gonna use a little bit more on my forehead so it sinks in really nicely it does feel quite like wet at first so you have to really make sure you massage it in properly once it's on it gives you a beautiful glow like look at that I even wear this alone just because it feels so refreshing like really cooling so yeah and it's got kind of like a sticky like it sticks which is kind of good sometimes I've got some primers that are very sticky and it makes the foundation go on really good because it like sticks the foundation in place I have chosen this foundation here this is by the brand Moonrise Creek I believe and it's made in the USA natural sun protection vegan non-gmo and gluten-free and it is called the Earth Mineral Cosmetics Botanical Liquid Foundation in the shade Beige. And it's got all of the ingredients listed on the back, but I'm not going to bore you with that. Oh, some little dried flowers fell out. <laughs> so like I was saying, I don't know if I got an appropriate color, so I might have to end up mixing it with another foundation. But let's just give it a go first. Because I really want to like stick to oh, Etsy brands for this tutorial if I can. But obviously if it's completely the wrong color, I'm going to have to fix it because I don't want to look like a mess. So the undertone looks really nice. Oh, it feels really good. It feels very smooth, kind of like a moisturizer, but a little bit thicker maybe. It smells so good. Kind of reminds me of the smell of like cocoa or something, except maybe not, I don't know. It smells really good though. I'd say the color is definitely a little bit too like beige for me. It's not yellow enough because um, it's going a little bit orange. So I might just like blend this all over and then color correct it with a different foundation just so we don't look crazy for the whole video. The actual formula of this product though, like it's covering pretty decent. Like look at the coverage on my eyelids with just a little amount of product and it's covering up the redness on my cheeks a good amount I'd say it's like medium to buildable coverage um, it's not like cake face but it's not a light coverage whatsoever and it feels so nice it feels really lightweight it feels very smooth it looks very smooth it hasn't accentuated any of my pores or anything like that I definitely need a little bit more product all over my face like just first impressions like it looks really good look at that you can see this is like terrible in terms of color right now so let's fix it i'm just gonna use some huda beauty because it seems to match me quite well at the moment like this <laughs> it matches my chest and stuff because i can't wear fake tan at the moment because i'm still peeling which is fun my skin's just so crap from all the travel i've done so i'm just gonna like kind of massage this in and blend it in I like the formula of the foundation though i just got the wrong color which is 
probably partly my fault, isn't it? Now, with this video, I did actually get a couple other things as well, but I received like random refunds, so I don't know if I've got everything. I guess we'll find out, but I didn't even notice until I was checking my email, so that's a shame. I didn't get like any email confirmation, I mean not email confirmation, well kind of like no one emailed me to say like, oh, this was out of stock so I refunded you or anything like that, like I just got a refund. So I don't know what the deal is, but. Okay, so now the foundation's only a little bit the wrong color. Putting on some Revitalash before I continue, otherwise I'll forget. Revitalash does work the best if you have like nothing on your skin, but I find when I just do it before my makeup, it still works. Okay, before I go ahead and do my concealer, I'm going to contour. This contour I found pretty easily. I was searching contour thing here, like contour powders, but this one came up and it looked interesting. So I'm gonna try it. It is called Mama Bee's Naturals Contour. And this is how it looks. By the way, the Huda Beauty Foundation, like I don't think it breaks me up because I've worn it a few times since the Maldives and every single time my skin has been fine. So I'm just gonna start with one side and just like begin blending it because I'm terrified where is my brush? I'm gonna use this unicorn one by Too Faced. Okay, I don't like this brush for this. i use the EXO Beauty one. I'm just gonna apply it a little bit more. So it definitely works. I feel like it's a little bit patchy, but you can work with it. And also, keeping in mind that my foundation is like set at this stage, if I had been a bit quicker, it would probably be easier. It's a pretty good color though. Like, I feel like the color works decent for me. I really like it on the nose. I feel like the more I use it, the better it is. Maybe that very first go I had, um, because it was like the top layer, you know what I mean? It would have been like maybe a little bit more dried out and the stuff's a bit more fresh, if that makes sense, because it's blending out it's so easy now. There you go. Maybe if you bought it, you could just warm it up on the back of your hand before the first use or something like that. Down below, I will link every shop I'm using it today so you guys can check them out for yourself support some small businesses if you like. This is really easy to use as well. It's very buildable. It's not um, hard to screw up, which is nice. Like you can go back and back and back and just intensify. Okay, now I'm looking kind of sick because I am so contoured and I haven't done my under eye area. So I just look like ill. So let's fix that. I'm going to do my concealer now. Which one did I get? This is the Master Fix and it is in the shade Bare Ivory. Heal, Conceal and Brighten by Palo Cosmetics. They're the same as the primer I used and it comes in like a little slimline container. So I'm gonna go straight in under the eyes. It feels quite thick and a little bit dry, but we'll see how it blends. Blends out nice and easily to be honest. And the coverage is, oh wow, it really makes me look airbrushed on my face. Like on my forehead there, it looks so nice. Like so smooth. I may have put on too much, but that's fine. I'm putting it on my eyelids and then kind of dragging it up towards my hairline. I don't normally use this brush to do my concealer. I think a sponge would work amazing with this product because it is a little bit drier. But once you start blending it out, it's very creamy. It's weird. So yeah, a sponge would work better because I'm getting like little streaks. Yeah, that's a million times better. So I recommend using a sponge with this product. This side's a little bit harder to blend, but it's probably my own fault because I've like left it there while I went and, you know, rinsed my sponge and everything. Usually I would have blended it out well by now, but it's still okay. It's not bad at all. So there's the concealer. I just want to put a little bit on my nose. My face is too dark for my body, but oh well. So yeah, so far most of the stuff is really good. I like the formula of the foundation, just not the color for me, which is my fault. I like the look of the concealer, it's very creamy. I especially like it on the face though. I think it's even better on the face rather than under the eyes, but it still works. Um, the primer was really nice. I like how it's quite sticky and it just felt really refreshing. Um, and what else is it? The contour, I actually really like that. I really like the color. Like it's a really good color. Okay, now I'm going to set everything down with this 100% vegan ever after all natural finishing powder. And oh, here you go, purelips.etsy.com. So it's by Pure Lips. Some stuff doesn't have the actual shop name. So in that case, I'll just figure it out. I'll go back through my Etsy and I'll link it down below for you. So this is what the product looks like. I'm just gonna be using it with a big powder brush and I'll also set under my eyes with it as well. It just mirrors it look a little bit shimmery. Looks like it's got tiny little glitter particles in it, which should be interesting. The powder itself looks very finely milled and it almost looks slightly tinted. It smells like almonds or something, like nuts. This looks 
mighty smooth. <laughs> I don't know why I chose the mighty word just then, but it does. It looks so smooth around my eyes. The concealer looks like it's creasing ever so slightly right underneath here. Um, so I'll keep an eye on that throughout the video. It's not bothering me too much at the moment. It's kind of like where my natural eye shape is anyway. Okay, now let's do the rest of the face. It definitely smells like nuts or something. Does it have nuts in it? Botanical powder blend. Oh, sweet rice. Turmeric, matcha. There's some clays in here. Maybe it's the um, sweet rice powder. It kind of smells like rice pudding or something. So the powder is my favorite under the eyes because all over my face, it kind of gives me a slight cast of um, like a pale color. It's not terrible. My skin definitely looks very even, but I just feel like it looks a little bit grayer than it did before. Um, however, under my eyes, I love how it looks. It's very smooth, it's very even, and the glittery kind of effect I talked about before, I can't really notice it once it's on my face. I'm just gonna cheat and use something that's not from Etsy, which I failed. I probably could have found something like this on Etsy, but a finishing spray just to help soak up any excessive powder. Cause when I use loose powder, I feel like I can look quite cakey and powdery. So I always like to use just some setting spray to soak up the excess. Next up we have eyebrow pomade and I'm sure, I don't know if it's from this brand or a different brand, but I'm sure I got a brow mascara as well, but definitely don't have one here. So maybe that was something I got refunded. So this is the Mama Bees Naturals Dark Brown Brow Pomade. And you guys know me, I always go a little bit darker on my eyebrows. This is what the product looks like. Very hand poured, which I kind of love. It's got cocoa butter, mango butter, beeswax, clay, powders, titanium oxide, dioxide, vitamin E, mega zinc, heaps of stuff. So I'm gonna try it with my little eyebrow groomer brush. It's more like a brow wax in a little pot. You can really feel it sticking down my eyebrow hairs into place and that's how it looks. I kind of screwed up underneath my brow. I'll fix that soon. It reminds me of this side of the browsings by Benefit, like very waxy, tinted, sticks down your eyebrow hairs. I quite like it. I don't know if I'd call it like a pomade because it's not like that creamy, like cream to powder kind of finish. It's very waxy, but um, it works really well. So there you go. I'm not sure how you would like it if you get quite oily around your eyebrows, like during the day because it could go a little bit melty. But if you've got like dry skin like me, it slides on really nicely and doesn't look all patchy. I'm just gonna use a little bit of highbrow just to clean up underneath my eyebrow. And then a little bit of that concealer just on top to sharpen up because I screwed up a little. I'm gonna screw up my contour there now because I just concealed over it. <laughs> well done, Shannon. So I'm 50-50 on that one. I definitely like how easy it is to use. I like the look of it, but it's not as precise as some of my other products. Next up, let's move on to eyeshadow. And I got the Stranger Things inspired eyeshadow palette. I can't remember who the store is, so I'll link it down below. I don't know what this is, but it looks kind of like wet on the inside. I don't know if it's like the oils coming out of the eyeshadow or if it's like something else. Because there's no oil on the outside of the eyeshadow palette, which makes me think it's coming from the inside. But um... We'll try it out. It kind of looks like creamy eyeshadows, which I didn't actually realize when I bought it. So I don't know if I'm gonna have to like use other eyeshadows as well to set them down, I mean, or what? This is kind of a fail. I actually thought they were powder eyeshadows. I mean, maybe they are, I haven't even tried them yet, but they kind of look like, you know, as a kid, when you had those paints and those big like palettes and you'd add water to them and like mix it up and it would turn into like a liquid. It kind of looks like that. So I'm gonna start with the shade Barbara, which is this one just here. Yeah, it definitely looks quite creamy, which I'm kind of excited about, but obviously, um, I don't know how they're gonna wear without being set. Stunning color. I'm sure if I actually read the website page, it would say what the formula is. I just assumed. And assuming things is not always smart. I'm using a crease blender. It's kind of got like a golden reflect to it. I'm just kind of dusting it all over the eyelid just to show you. And we'll use some other colors as well. Like it's so nice. I almost don't even want to use any other colors because I just love the way this is looking by itself. I'm going to take just the color next to it, that dark green, and it's called Dart. I'm just going to start packing this on the eyelid, maybe stopping about there. So just doing that first half. And then blending back with my other brush. This is going to be a very blended look since they are creams. I'm not going to do anything too fancy. Now I'm going to take this shade down the very end. It's like a deep purplish color. It's called Mind Flayer. 
I'm just blending that in. I'm just going to use my concealer now that I've finished that and just kind of tidy up this outer edge because I got a bit carried away. Now I'm going to take a little pencil brush with this shade just here, just on the inner corner. This is stunning. It's just like a really bright white. I feel like as soon as you add that inner corner pop, really just makes you look so much more glam. Imagine if these weren't even eyeshadows and they were like body paints or something and I'm just a total idiot. Who knows? But they're working well. Now I'm just going to take that first color again down the bottom corner. Barbara. Barb. This is my favorite color from the palette. The eyeshadows don't feel heavy or anything either if they are eyeshadows because now I'm completely doubting my existence but they feel really nice on the eyes and I love the look of them. The colors are so beautiful and I love the kind of combination I did. It just turned out really nice like with the purple and the green and the bronzish purplish color like it just worked together. So next I actually have a couple of eyeliners. These are by Addictive Cosmetic. I'm going to use this one here. It's called Soul Train I believe. All natural liner for eyes and lips and this is what it looks like oh my gosh it's so pretty it's like molten gold ow i just stabbed myself in the eye though do not recommend <sighs> that area where i fixed up my concealer looks a little bit um cakey and i think it's because i set it with powder and then went back with more concealers so it's not really anyone's fault but my own addictive cosmetics pitch black or natural eyeliner oh god i don't think i'm gonna like the applicator it's like one of those stiff little stiff wooden stiffies oh gosh <sighs> okay this is really hard to use but the actual formula is so so black i think i might actually even use an eyeliner brush with it i've just used a business card and put out a blob and i'm going to use my winged liner brush very liquidy but it's so black oh god what's going on <laughs> It's too liquidy for me, I think. I'm gonna wait for it to dry and fix that with concealer. I love the way it dries too. Like, look how dark and matte it is. Well, that is the worst eyeliner job I've done in a very long time. I'm gonna go off camera and just try to fix this a little. Okay, so when I was cleaning it up, I just ended up with all these crumbs. I'm not having a good time with eyeliner today, so yeah probably not gonna use this one again i just find it difficult to use everyone's different um now i've got black all over here i don't even know how to fix it i'm just making it worse it was all going well until we took on the eyeliner what i'm gonna do is go back into my stranger things palette and take the green and do like a smudgy eyeliner just kind of go over it a little this is not going well. The um, eyeliner just keeps crumbling on my face. I think the only way is to literally take it off and start over. I'm just gonna take off this patch of foundation and just fix it up with my concealer. Usually you wanna like take off all of the area otherwise you get some cakiness where like it kind of joins like the seams. But I'm just not in the mood. That eyeliner is killing me. Oh my god. <laughs> I honestly am so sick and tired of life right now. So my foundation looks a little bit patchy now. Ah, now it's smudging. I'm just gonna smudge whatever's on here, under here. I regret that, it's too black. Just trying to fix it with my finger. Oh my God. <laughs> you know, I didn't even wanna look good today anyway. Like I don't even care. I was just doing my makeup to look ugly. So, so we're gonna just finish this do the mascara and then step away because I'm just over it. This is just literally getting to be the worst mess. Okay, mascara. I have this Moonrise Creek, which is the same brand as the foundation. Black Natural Botanical Mascara. Vegan, organic, and gluten-free. It's very natural. I feel like I have to use a million coats to get it to look like even, but it is a very nice effect once you get there. I probably couldn't be bothered doing this every day, but um, I feel like a really natural, like it's very separated, lengthening, very black, like very fluffy lash look. I don't know if you can see. It's really nice. It's just a lot of effort for me. I'm quite lazy. I like to just have something go on. It goes on in the lot. Uh, bleh, bottom lashes very well. Well done, Shannon. Just smack it all over your eye. It's very pretty actually, this mascara. But yeah, it just takes a while. Well, I can tell you this right now. I am going to rinse off this makeup once I'm done because I'm just angry. <laughs> I just keep screwing up. It's not even the makeup's fault. I'm just like so clumsy today. So yeah, the eye makeup turned into a bit of a mess. It started out well, but um, yeah. It's a very um, like oil slick looking, I guess. 
I could just say that's the look I was going for, but that would be a lie. Let's move on to some of my favorite parts, which is the um, highlighter and the lips. So I have a few different highlighters by the look of it. I have the Stranger Things one, and then I have this one here, Posh Pepper Beauty Phoenix. And then there's like a Juicy Peach one. I might use this brand because I haven't used it yet, I don't think. The Posh Pepper Beauty. This one here is in the shade Phoenix. And this is how it looks. Okay, here goes nothing. Whoa. <gasps> That's so blinding. Pretty. It's very shimmery. Almost like invisible when you're like straight on. Then you turn your head and it's like wet look. So that's really pretty. Oh my god. It's very intense. Okay, now I'm going to do blush. Got this one just here, this pink rose one. And wow, this looks so bright. I don't know what the shade is, but I'll list it down below if I can find the information. So I've got it on a little duo fiber brush. This is helping with the gray situation because my skin looks a little bit gray. It's really pretty. I feel like it's a little bit patchy, but it might be the way I'm applying it. Or because I've got like a shit ton of unset concealer on my face from all the fallout. Oh. Yeah, see it's sticking to one place, so maybe a dense brush would work better with this. We're just gonna keep blending it until it's okay. So there's definitely some wins and some fails in this video. I actually like some stuff a lot more than I actually thought I would. I don't know why, I just didn't really have like high expectations I suppose, which sounds very savage, but you know what I mean. And then for lipsticks, I have this one here which is called Naked. And this is by DNA, I think. And then I have two liquids. This one here, they're both by Beauty Bar Baby. We have this like purplish tone. And then we have, by the way, that's called Soulmate. Then we have this one here called Salted Caramel. Oh my God, that's a cool color. I wanna try this on, even though I feel like it won't go with what I'm wearing or anything. It's just a cool color. This is what the packaging looks like. It's very extra quite cool. Can't smell anything. It's a very even formula. It kind of comes out quite moussey, but it smooths on very thin. Totally the wrong color for this look, isn't it? <laughs> it's a cool color though. It's like pumpkin, like pumpkin orange. Okay, I'm going to remove it. I'm going to try just the lipstick in the shade Naked by DNA. I definitely don't like the smell of it, but the formula is quite pretty. It's like a sheer um, glossy kind of formula. So let me go do my hair. I don't really like this lip color with the eye makeup either, but the other one is like a dark purple and I'm just not ready for that kind of commitment today. My ego has been shattered. Oh, I do have this though, a lip tint. I'm gonna try it. Okay, this is by Paolo and it is called the Doll Baby Lip Tint. It's got avocado oil in it. Oh my God, I can't get my finger in there. Maybe I'll just nick my fingernail in there. I honestly think this is gonna be a better lip color for today. You know what, screw it. I'm just gonna use a different lipstick because nothing's working out for me. I do like this, but it's very sheer. And I need something extra. I'm gonna try out this next Simply Nude in the shade Peaches. Okay, this is a little bit patchy too. Whatever, I'm gonna go do my hair, I'll be right back. Hopefully my makeup won't look so average by the time I do my hair, cause ugh. I almost forgot to use this too. It's like a highlighter and a rose. So I'm gonna put it like on my body. It's so pretty. My under eye area is like blue. <sighs> okay, whatever. So there were some clear favorites and some clear not favorite. As always, every product works super different for everyone. So if you normally like my recommendations, then maybe you could try some of the products I really liked out of this video. Um, check out all of the shops. Like, congratulations to all of the people that own these shops. I obviously have not been in direct contact with any of them. I bought the stuff, didn't say what I was doing with it. I just acted like a normal customer. If they end up watching this video, then hello, well done on your guys products and companies it's super cool i think it's really cool like handmade makeup and stuff like that and there's so many more brands on etsy as well so you guys need to check it out if you really want to like support like a smaller business like i said there's so much products so much products there's so many products so much stuff there we go okay so i am going to go now makeup looks okay from a distance but up close it does not look as good um there's little black dots all over i really like the eyeshadow colors i loved heaps of the base makeup um, I'm definitely gonna keep some of it and get rid of some of it. I need to organize it. I'll probably do it in like a declutter or something like that. And yeah, until then, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!